So an important part of the game of squash is the safety aspect of the court. And because we're fighting for the same area and we're, we're in a confined space, there are times where you and your opponent might get in each other's way or you might not be able to play a shot. So the system that we use for this is lets, no lets and strokes. Now, a let ball is if the ball is between you and your opponent, you can get to that ball and you can't, there's no way for you to get through. So that would be deemed a let. Another way of having a let is if there's a risk that your opponent might hit you with, with a squash racket or you might hit your opponent with a squash racket, then that would be a let ball as well. If there's any sort of danger, you would stop, it would be a let ball. So when there is a let, you replay the point. So you stay at exactly the same score as you were before. Now a no let would be deemed that if you've hit a ball or your opponent's hit a ball that's too far away from you or your opponent, your opponent's looking to get through, they, you are maybe slightly in the way, but there's no chance of them getting that ball, or there's space for them to be able to hit a ball when they pass, then actually there's no danger, that would be a deemed a no let. And that would mean that the opponent, or the person not asking for the let, would be awarded the point. Now a stroke is when you're preventing your opponent from hitting or using a winning position. So if they're ready to hit a ball and you're directly in front of the ball, blocking the front wall, that would be a stroke. If you're immediately and directly in their swing and preventing their swing and stopping them from hitting the ball, that would also be a stroke. Now a stroke would be a point to the striker, to the person looking to hit the ball. So there is your introduction to let's, no let's and strokes and it will help you to have a safe game of squash.